It's verdict day for the JCB Telescope, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everybody. Even though it is clearly afternoon, we are in the JCB Telescope, and Andrew just pulled in with the semi right behind him. And today he is delivering our seed for the year 2020. So we're bringing the telescope down. We're gonna start unloading the seed. And uh, we got five soybean boxes that are going up in the shed and the rest of the seed is going down in the lower garage of the house to keep them out of the rain and moisture. And uh, the telescope is great for this job because it's high, higher lifting capacity. I'm trying to get these bean boxes off the trailer seems to be a nightmare. I brought the telescope out to my place because I need to feed cattle with it. So one of my most frequently asked questions that I get is, did I buy the JCB telescope? And up until recently, I've never really had an answer for anyone who wanted to know. So it wasn't really a question that I was all that, that I answered all too often. Um, I kind of told them, you know, I'd really like to keep it, but it's kind of up in the air. I don't really know. And um, up until recently, I never really had a direct answer. So this serves as just to kind of answer some of your questions around the telescope. I know that a lot of people have been asking me recently, especially um, being as that it's been a full year since we've had it. So the telescope was originally only supposed to be on the farm for 30 days and it started out as a demo. And after 20 days had come and passed, since I was in the market for a skid loader anyway, I sent a proposal to JCB to purchase the unit. And they came back, um, they extended the demo out another two weeks, 
until they could decide and they had agreed that they wanted to do it so it's we've gone back and forth um, over the last year and just trying to work out some of the details i got in contact with another person from jcb who really catapulted things forward because um, things kind of had gotten stale going back and forth we just had this unit here and no progress was being made on it and um, they made great strides in the last couple of months to kind of get it all settled and it's not completely official yet but to me it's official enough that it should be staying on the farm so um, I'm really satisfied with the JCB and how it's performed on the farm the last year um, then that's why I wanted to keep it even after the first 20 days because I saw just how versatile this unit is even with like earlier unloading seed boxes this thing has a great amount of lifting capacity as it is but throw in that extending boom and my heart is sold um, a lot of one question that I really get a lot is does the one boom design you know do you see any kind of bending in it even when uh, you extend the boom and the answer to that is an absolute no for both questions both when you're doing any kind of work with it retracted you don't notice that the boom swings back and forth at all um, it's very stable uh, they do have a block down here in front of the cab to stabilize it even more if you're doing any kind of grading work um, if you have the boom all the way down and you want to stabilize it um, you know that's there I don't think that you really need it because honestly I've used this thing for some things that probably isn't recommended in the product manual but it's held up very well um, I've graded with the boom extended all the way out and it has not bent you know I've never really noticed that it's really moved at all it's always been just one solid piece and it's been very stable so I'm really satisfied with how the JCB performs and that's why I told them I got to have this thing on the farm because I just I fell in love with it um, my feeling on tracks I've been going back and forth um, and this isn't a product of you know JCB at all um, but tracks themselves I'm not too big on um, which is kind of surprising when we first got this unit I was told to you know I've really always wanted to use tracks and I was always told that you know they do really well in dirt which in dry dirt they do do really really well um, certain situations where they don't do so well you know are ice um, compacted snow any kind of wet mud um, it does have a good amount of flotation which is nice but once you get under that once you get under the dirt um, you can kind of get stuck pretty easily however one thing that you have to really take in, into consideration with this unit in particular and that i wasn't i hadn't really thought about is that this is a thirteen thousand pound unit oh i think it's over thirteen thousand pounds and the jcb teleskid as it is is a very heavy unit for reference our 4230 john deere of my grandpa's that we used to have we rolled that across the scale once and that was just over fourteen thousand. So this thing weighs probably just as much as our 4020, to be honest, if not more, I would guess. And um, a lot of that is counterweight. Um, a lot of people have asked me, does this thing get tipsy? And absolutely not. Um, even, you know, going side to side on hills, it's always been very, very stable. And I attribute that to the tracks. So that's one of the those things that the tracks are great for. Um, I've just spent a lot of time cleaning these out, especially when they're full of mud and snow. Um, this winter especially was pretty bad for it you know it was it was really wet and it kept um, it kept warming up and then cooling down so during the days when you'd ever you'd take it out and feed cows with it you'd get a bunch of manure stuck in the tracks and then it would freeze overnight and then it would the tracks would freeze up so what I started doing is cleaning them out every day um, that really helped but on a day-to-day -day basis for a skid loader it would be really nice to have wheels on a skid loader um, that's one thing that I kind of miss about the Bobcat but if you were to think about the weight and stability side of it not doubting that the wheeled unit is any less stable um, I just think that with tracks for the flotation I would imagine that this probably has better traction than the wheeled unit but I can't really you know I can't say for sure um, I think it would probably perform better as far as traction overall um, because it's got that whole flotation to it and it'll help you get us get you to go across any wet ground or anything like that a little bit better than wheels the big drawback is just keeping them clean and we actually cleaned these just two days ago and they're already filling back up 
But a big thing that I found really helps is to just want, run water through them whenever you're done for done with it at the end of the day. Um, you can get a hose and just kind of hose them out. And that does a really good job at keeping them clean. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with the Teleskid. And that's why I told JCB, you can't take this thing back. I got to have it. And um, I'm really satisfied with what it's done for us for the last year. Even hopping back into the Bobcat with the its lifting capacity is like 1,800 pounds. When you go to move stuff around, even just bales, you pick them up, and all of a sudden you got to go back to playing the physics game as far as keeping the Bobcat on its wheels. And uh, this thing, it's just so stable, and you don't have to worry about any of that. You just pick it up and go. Um, the biggest issue that I've had is just traction, and I don't really find that as a fault of the machine. It's just the nature of the beast because it's so much heavier than what I'm used to. So I hope that clears the air on why the Teleskid is still around the farm. If you guys have any other questions about this unit, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, this thing has just been a top performer for us. Um, just the versatility with the telescoping boom and the tracks uh, on this unit, I really do think I like because it helps with flotation with all of that weight with this unit. And so far it's been treating us really nice and I'm looking forward to using it into the future. And I'm happy to say that we've partnered up with JCB to keep this on our farm. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. We have tons of videos of using this thing for other uses on the farm. Feel free to go check out some of those videos. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. With that, I'll see you next time.